it's easy to think that you need to be able to draw well in order to paint well. So do you really need to know how to draw in order to paint? I think I can see this from both sides, but my answer would be no. In my opinion, you don't need to know how to draw in order to paint. You especially don't need to draw well in order to paint. Sometimes I draw first and then I paint. Sometimes I simply sketch a few guidelines before painting, and sometimes I just paint with no pencil lines at all. However, I do think that the ability to draw or sketch is helpful. So while I do my own practice sketch for this rainy day scene, I'm going to share the benefits that I get from drawing before painting. So first, the question to sketch or not to sketch at all. Before I get into the benefits, you might be wondering when I decide to sketch or not. So assuming that this applies to all paintings I'm doing using a visual reference, whether it's a photograph or from real life, I will typically sketch when the circumstances are as follows. If I feel unsure about the composition on the page or how I want to frame the image, if the reference contains architectural elements or human figures that have more complex scale and proportions compared to something like an apple, for example, if the values feel tricky and I want to use graphite to work through them first, and if sometimes I just feel more confident putting pencil down on paper first. The second part of this question is whether I lay down a sketch directly on the watercolor paper or not. This depends on how much of a guideline I want to have before painting, Am I feeling bold enough to go in without any pencil lines or am I feeling a little bit still unsure? If I want to locate major elements like a horizon line or a mountain ridge, those are typically things that I will mark out using pencil directly on the watercolor paper. And if the focus is a human or an animal figure and I really want to make sure the proportions are correct, then I will put down pencil directly onto the watercolor paper that I'll be painting on. That being said, I found that some of the pencil lines will slowly disappear as water and paper are applied, either through being washed away or being covered up. It's not a guarantee that the sketch will always remain there as a guide, but having had it before starting still helps me. The act of putting it on paper and seeing it there creates a certain muscle memory that I can draw upon while I'm painting. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to be talking directly about the benefits of doing an independent sketch, which you could also call a drawing study, of the reference photo prior to painting, separate from the painting and not on the watercolor paper. So the main reason for doing a sketch is it really helps me with working out proportions and overall layout. Using a pencil to translate what I see from the reference onto the sheet of paper I'm working on is an exercise in scaling what I see onto a physical piece of paper. I don't always get it right the first time, so doing this in pencil really helps. A tip here if you're sketching is to sketch at the same scale that you're planning to be painting in. In other words, sketching on the same size paper as your watercolor paper. So this really helps me practice how I'm going to lay out the painting on the piece of paper. Of course, this really works best when you're doing something small like in a sketchbook or on a manageable sized piece of paper. Because can you really imagine doing this on a full size sheet? I don't think so. but. For me, at least at this point in my journey, it really helps me to be sketching at the same scale and I'm not really doing any huge watercolor paintings, so it's easy for me to complete it like that. So when it comes to human figures, animals, or architectural elements, doing a sketch will help me work through tricky proportions of these elements. So I treat it like a practice session or a run through. It can be difficult for me to get the proportions of people correctly the first time, um, so doing pencil sketches can show me where I might be over or underestimating the proportions because it looks weird and it'll tell me right away that something's off. And then I can erase and practice and the act of erasing and redrawing is really helpful. So to me, it's not really making a mistake. It's really just me learning and getting that practice in so that I can do it more easily when I'm painting. So another benefit that I find from doing sketches before paintings is in the details and the decisions that happen while I'm doing it. So when I'm busy figuring out proportions and layout while I'm doing the sketch, I'm also creating form, light, and shadows with my pencil. And I don't sketch every detail. In fact, I don't sketch many details at all, um, except for the important ones. And it's the ones that I want to paint and the ones that I want the eye to focus on in the painting. And while I'm sketching and honing in on the details that I want to capture later with paint, I'm also making 
decisions, decisions about what details that I want to include, um, but just as important, what details I want to leave out. So if I can omit those details in the sketch and it still feels successful, then I know that I can render it softly or loosely in the painting as well. And those can become um, more abstract or more loose with watercolor. What I'm thinking about as I sketch is what technique I might want to use when I paint. So these are the decisions like, Will this be wet on wet or wet on dry? What order should I paint this in? Should I use masking fluid or do anything else like that? There are no right or wrong answers here and I never know how a painting will go, but the sketch allows me to slow down, observe, and just ponder my approach. It's an active way of planning out my process mentally while keeping in mind that really anything could happen when I get to the painting stage. The last thing that doing sketches really helps me with is value, studying value. And you've likely heard of value sketches that are done as a quick study to figure out values. These are done as thumbnails, which are small but impactful as understanding the difference between uh, lightness and darkness of colors. And when you can grasp good contrast of values, they can really make paintings pop. And while I haven't quite incorporated thumbnail sketches into my regular practice, I do find that noticing values and focusing on them while I do a practice sketch like this prepares me for painting. For this sketch, my focus isn't on a value study, so you won't see me shading in all the values for this reference photo. I really wanted mainly to focus on practicing the figure with the umbrella, so I decided not to do any value shading. Hopefully you can see that a practice sketch is something you can mold to work for you. If you feel like a certain element of your reference is going to be tricky when you paint it, working it out with a medium that is easily controlled like pencil might help. For this rainy day scene, my intention really was to understand the overall layout and how the figure was positioned within it, as well as to practice the figure itself. The figure has no head and is walking with an umbrella, something that I found to be tricky for me and I needed that extra time to practice it. This drawing isn't a final drawing, it's really far from it, but it's a study that helps me learn and practice and that's really why I think that sketching can be beneficial. It's not about producing a beautiful graphite piece. I guess I could say it's a way for me to figure out some things using a controlled medium before moving on and capturing it using a less controlled medium. So I hope that you found something helpful from this video today. I'd love to know if you have further questions when it comes to drawing for watercolors. Let me know in the comments below and I'm going to leave you here as I finish this sketch. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.